Hi, I'm Doug Crimmins with Valen Corporation. Today I'm going to be going over how to wire up and calibrate a Valvcon actuator. First, we're going to start off with wiring. You're going to apply your source voltage input power to terminals A and B on the board. Your hot goes into terminal A, your neutral into terminal B. Next, we're going to wire in our milliamp feedback signal, which is terminals five and seven on the board, five negative and seven positive. Next, we're going to wire in our milliamp signal for position control for the actuator, and that's going to be terminals 15 and 16, 15 being positive, 16 being negative. This is our 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Before we power on our actuator, we're going to check the dip switches on our board. So first we're going to start up here in the position feedback. We want to verify power dip switch is in the internal position. Our signal is in the 4 to 20 milliamps. Our on and off control dial is verify that the arrow is pointing down to the analog. Our position control is 4 to 20 milliamps. Signal fell is zero. Heater control for your guys' location is gonna be in the low temperature position. Power consumption is in the normal position. Coming over here to your power fail controls, this is where you want your valve to end up if a loss of, loss of power. Go to the park position. And in this demonstration, I'm going to park it in the counterclockwise position, which is in the closed position limits you want to be in the smart position next before we turn power on to our actuator we want to verify that our valve is in the closed position and we do this by we have an indicator on our shaft and also on our valve also you could go around here to the back side there's a notch in the shaft for the actuator that is parallel to the back of the board and this will give you an indication that you're in the closed position Next, we'll apply our source power, turn the board on. When the board powers up, you get two status indication lights. One is your calibration LED, and the second is your charging indication LED. So for calibration, we want to hold for one second, and that LED will begin to flash. And to set the calibration, we go around the back side to our main gear. With the set screw in the back, we loosen the Allen wrench. Come back around to the front. And we move the big gear until we get a solid LED indication. Once we have that solid LED indication, we press enter for the actuator to take that change. Next, we want to go to the zero position. Press enter for one to two seconds until we get a flashing LED. Next, we want to verify that our valve is in the closed position and that our milliamp signal is at four. Press enter to take the change. Next, we want to go to the span position. Drive the valve to the fully open position. Next, 
Next, we want to hold down enter for one second. We want to supply 20 milliamps to our actuator. We want to press enter for the actuator to take the change. Next, we want to come over to the notch on the top of the actuator, on the main shaft. This notch will be perpendicular to the back of the board now that it's open. Next, we go into the run position. The run LED is on. And now we can simulate our four to 20 milliamp signal to verify that we get the correct orientation whenever we apply that milliamp signal. So right now I'm going to, I get applied four milliamps. Should be in the closed position, which it did. Next, I'm gonna drive it back open to 20. And as you can see on your, on your valve, your valve should go to the fully open position with 20 milliamps applied. The last thing to check is your filled closed position with the loss of power. So I'm going to kill my source voltage and the valve should come back to the complete closed position. verify that with your indicator on your shaft of your valve and also by the notch on the main shaft of the actuator.